What's up YouTube? Honda owners, make sense of this. You have a 2017 Honda CRV with a 1.5 turbo GDI engine. Probably one of the worst engines in the family class that they continue to build. The industry says that your car can consume one quart of oil every 2,000 miles. This vehicle for an oil change only holds 3.7 quarts. You do the math. Do the math. When are you supposed to change your oil on your Honda? So let's look that up. We know it's not 3,000 miles. Routine service. Periodic maintenance. Air cleaner every 15,000 miles. I see that on some cars every 30,000 miles. It, it's ridiculous what these people put in here for service intervals. It's not going to tell us. I'm going to tell you it's probably five to eight thousand miles, if not ten. So I don't understand why it's not saying that. Let's see a little bit. Indicator based services. Wow. <clears throat> Routine maintenance, periodic maintenance. Replace brake fluid every three years. It's actually not bad. So anyway, on average, a Honda's oil life indicator set between five and 10,000 miles. So do the math on your Honda that has 100,000 miles on it that's burning oil. And you're a second hand owner and you don't know that or the first owner and you're shocked that your, your Honda's burning oil. Industry standards, one quart, one quart every 2,000 miles. You know nothing about cars. Gas station people don't check your oil anymore because they're clueless. Um, your quick lube doesn't advise you. And uh, here you go. So your, your Honda takes four quarts of oil. Every 2,000 miles you burn a quart of oil. So in 5,000 miles, how, many oil, how much oil are you gonna have left? Well, in 4,000 miles, you're gonna have 50% of your oil life, oil in your engine, um, and it's already creating damage, all right? And then at 5,000 miles, even if you make it, it's another half quart to quart, and you're running around with maybe a quart at 5,000 miles, or less in your engine. You see where the internal engine damage comes from? And then if you push it to seven or eight like some of these other places like oh it's okay to go 7500 miles it's absolutely not okay to go 7500 miles or 10,000 miles so uh you can see the industry out there uh is not educating the consumers and guys like me are and then we have contradiction in the industry with other youtubers saying oh it's okay to go five and seven and ten and twenty it's not not okay thanks for watching